Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Legally Emily TV. What's up? What's up? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Legally Emily TV. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Lovex and African. In today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top five things that I wish I knew before starting court reporting school in celebration of National Court Reporting Week and Captioning Week, which starts today. Alrighty, let's jump right into it. I'm going to be looking down on my phone because I wrote it in my notes. I've just been doing a little bit of practicing, as you can see here with my stenograph machine. So I decided to take a break and give you guys, and sh I decided to take a break and share with you guys my top things that I wish I knew before starting school. So number one is you can no longer wear long nails. For my ladies who like long nails, it's just something you're gonna have to let go. It was hard for me because I don't like super long nails, but I like, you know, nails with length. But it doesn't work with the stenograph machine. It's really difficult to um, place your fingers on the machine and type. It's really hard to do with long nails because it's like your fingers, <laughs> you have to use your fingers and if your nails are too long, it kind of kicks you off the keys, you know? Well, that's my number one thing. So if you know you like long nails, <laughs> it's going to be a little hard. I mean, as you progress in the, as you progress in the course or once you become a reporter and you have a job and you're comfortable at that point, you can wear long nails. I mean, I still don't think it's advised, but I do know a lady at my job who has these beautiful long nails and she's able to Number two, them. you'll be working out a muscle that you've never worked out before. So, I had no idea, like, you know, that I was going to be in so much pain. Like, the first day after, like, typing, and it's not even crazy typing because I'm still in theory, right? But just, like, t um, stroking a couple words, my wrist was killing me. So just be, just be aware that you're going to have some pain in your wrist because you're using muscles that you probably never used, used before. So your hands are... Number three is you are going to have to be completely motivated to this craft. It's not about... Oh, I think I could. I'm not going to study today. I'm just going to let it go. I'm going to cram it. This is nothing like college. This is nothing like grad school. This is a skill that you have to continue to practice. You're, you can't memorize how to stroke certain letters all at once if you if you don't practice regularly. So practicing is something that you need to know prior to Thing, like knowing that you have to practice and be on your A-game is something that you need to know prior to enrolling in school because there is no way to go around that. Number four, do your research before enrolling in a school. I don't care what you heard, I don't care what your friends told you, what so-and-so told you, where so-and-so went, nah. Do your research before you enroll in school. I had a, um, I, I didn't understand this at first. When I first started looking into court reporting school, I didn't want to take out loans because I never had to take out loans. I've only had to take out FAFSA when I was doing my bachelor's degree and my dad paid the rest. So I don't have any loans. So I wasn't trying to go to a school and acquire loans for an associate's degree, right? So I shied away from going to an accredited school that's a private school that's expensive because I didn't want to do with the loans and I went somewhere else that wasn't accredited and that um, you could pay monthly but that you know you get what you pay for how about that I'm just gonna leave it at that you get what you pay for if you want to know more about that topic definitely comment below and I'll do a separate video on the school I went to before the school I'm currently at now I only stayed like what I want to say I went to like five classes in the previous school and then I realized like no way this this is not it this is not for me I'm not learning this is not helping and I'm doing so much better in the school I am now and I love it like I love it love it love it when I was at the other school I was ready to, I was just like I'm done with it I'm not doing this because I was so discouraged but with the school I'm at now Plaza is amazing so definitely do well thorough diligent research prior to enrolling in any school that's definitely my fourth advice and number five 
this is not a program where any this is not a program where anyone can guarantee your graduation date it's completely up to you it's how much you put into it it's how much you practice so no one could exactly tell you when you're going to graduate the standard time is two years but if you're slacking and you're not studying you're not going to graduate in two years right so it's so different from regular school it's something that you should know prior to enrolling no one can guarantee your graduation date so it may take you two years it may take you four years it may take you eight years it's all up to you so that's something that you should know before enro enrolling also um in order to pass a test most schools want you to have at least a 95 percent accuracy or 97 i think i've heard so that's a whole different ball game from the 65 that we could get away with in what high school or the um or the d that you could get in college and you just want to pass the class it doesn't work that way to pass the stenography class and progress to a higher speed you need to be getting at least a 95 on your exam so that's something that i think you guys should thank know. you guys for watching my video i wanted to give you guys <laughs> thank you guys for watching my video i wanted to share with you guys my top five things that I wish I knew before court reporting school so it could help you or help a friend. Definitely share this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be producing so much court reporting content regu regularly, hopefully weekly. Just bear with me. I'm trying to get out a lot of my wedding content, but I'm definitely going to start the court reporting the court reporting content content especially since this week is court reporting week. So stay tuned. Bye guys.